Hey guys, this is Paul with RC Foam Fighters. I'm getting ready to fly the Supernova. Um, we put a new motor on it. This is the Badass Series. It's a 28 by 26, 1360 kV motor. Um, these are supposed to be pretty awesome motors. Uh, me and Frank did a couple bench tests. It was putting out over 2,000 watts. Um, today we're going to torture test it. I'm putting a bigger prop than they really recommend on the website. But, you know, that's kind of RC Foam Fighters way. So we're going to see what happens. We got a 3300 milliamp 5S pack in here. Got the GPS on it. We're what size prop it. is that, Paul? It's a, a uh, 8.75 by 9. Holy cow. <laughs> uh, That's a pylon, a pylon racer prop. prop, though. So it's a little thinner. So, it, like I said, it is pulling over the 95 amps they recommend uh, on the bench at about 112 amps. Yes, yeah, <laughs> but it'll we're hoping in the it'll air, run man. a little bit less once it's in the air. Uh, but we'll see what happens. You're on. There we go. I'm gonna have to prop down. <laughs> yeah, I might have lost you for a split second when you went over my head. <laughs> that looked pretty fast. Yeah, cool down. Okay. These clouds are definitely not camera friendly. Okay, you got it? Yeah. I lost you, the camera lost you. Where the hell are you? Okay. That was a pretty good pass. Okay, I'm gonna bring it around and bring it in. Let's see, out on the side over here. Okay, you got it. Okay, cool. Let's see what the GPS says. Yeah. Okay, we're running four and a half minutes roughly. 4.33 miles. 134. So that's not too bad. It's um, slower than the old motor, but like I said, I think I got too much prop on it. So we'll see what happens. Um, put my throttle cut so this motor is pretty hot so so that might that's probably over propping it so we're gonna prop down and uh, do another test Nice and low, man. Okay, I'm gonna bring it around and down. You don't run out of landing space, dude. We're in. Okay, awesome, man. Okay, guys, let's see what the numbers are. Ran that for roughly about four minutes, three miles, 131, so that's actually a little slower. Um, the motor does feel a little warm, but it's not super hot. ESC is a little warm. The battery's lukewarm. Okay guys, we're getting ready to do a third test flight. Uh, we got a different prop again. 
This is an 8.75 by 7.5 pitch uh, pylon racer prop. So it's a little bit less pitch than that very first one we ran. So we'll see if it winds up any faster and uh, we'll see what type of speeds it gives us. That looks definitely faster to me, man. It up better. Yeah, that's moving now. <laughs> Damn, that picked up a lot of speed, I think, man. Again, this prop is probably a little larger than what they recommend on the website. But, like me and Frank said, this is a torture test day, so... We're pushing these things to see what they can do. Okay, ready, Franco? Yep. Damn, dude, that thing's <laughs> screaming, man. Yeah, it sounds like it's winding up a little better, huh? Yeah, it does. We're ready? ready? Yeah. Yeah, this is definitely my favorite plane that I've ever made. Um, so, <clears throat> yeah, this badass motor we're trying to find, I was trying to find a nice replacement for that old Hobby King motor. So that's why I were running it through its paces with all these different props and see what this motor can handle. These badass motors are supposed to be pretty awesome. You know, they use the top quality magnets and materials. Man, that was nice and low, dude. Yeah, trying to keep it low so the camera can focus better. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with these Pyro Drone uh, 3300 milliamp batteries too. They seem pretty good. They don't drop voltage much. You know, you can push them pretty hard. You do know you're doing your speed runs into the wind too, right? I am. Yeah. Well, it wasn't windy when I took off. Eh, so. It's only probably about five miles an hour, but. Let's try one this way. I don't know, the batteries might be dropping by yes. now, but. That was a nice pass, man. Yeah, I think the batteries might be sagging a little bit by now. Yeah, you might want to bring it in, man. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Coming in power. Almost ran out of place yeah. to land, man. I had to stay up because my prop is down that on the braking. All right. Let's see okay, what... let's see what the numbers were for that run. Uh, flew for five minutes, 14 seconds, 4.6 miles. 134, so that's still about so, the same as that other one. Huh. It looked like it was faster. Yeah. So uh, still pretty close, 134. All right, guys, we finished the torture test, so now we're going to use the 7x7 seven seven, uh, sport prop. That's pretty much in the recommended range on the Badass website. So all the other ones were pulling probably more amps than you should. So you do that at your own risk. Um, so we're going to try this 7x7 seven seven prop and see what the numbers are. Looks like probably about 120 ish maybe definitely not as fast still moving pretty good yeah try a speed pass from that side yeah, sort of next time around, around.
Okay, flying for about four minutes. 3.57 miles, 121. So yeah, that's the recommended prop. That's a little slower. Um, so the best uh, speed runs were with the bigger prop than what's recommended. The pylon racer props that we had. Uh, we ran it with the 875 by 9 inch pitch and 875 by 7.5 inch pitch. Those were both about the same at about 134 miles an hour. So what I might do is modify those props, chop them down a little, maybe get them around eight inch, and then uh, we'll do some more runs to see if we can pick up some speed. Okay guys, that'll pretty much finish up the video for this badass motor. Um, so far I'm pretty impressed with it. It held up pretty good with all them high speed runs and you know pushed the motor really hard, even above the amp ratings that the uh, motor is rated at. Um, so we'll be doing some more tests with this. I hope to get a 6S uh, battery setup on this plane or maybe another plane and we'll do some more tests on 6s to see how the motor performs on a higher voltage battery so stay tuned uh, more to come